Hey guys, <clears throat> I just played a game with uh, Raven, Nine Dawn. Uh, played a teaching game where I get to ask him a bunch of questions. And I thought it might be meaningful to you to see what I saw. Not that I want to play Seesaw. Okay, uh, Crazy Stone is black, six stone level. And as you recall, that's where I hit a wall. And my level up went all the way to five dawn. But when I hit six dawn, really had some trouble. So we're white. We know that A is fine. Uh, but so is B and so is whatever else. C, whatever you want to play. Although the bottom right is what we call an unfinished corner. Uh, there's something of a principle here. Let's go ahead and look at it. First move in the corner. That's the biggest move. Now, white is the second move in the corner. Well, it's bigger to be the first move. Uh, what I'm trying to get to is, for instance, the pinch. That's the third move in the corner, rather than being the first move in the corner. So, first move in the corner is biggest, second one's next biggest, third one's next biggest. That's a principle that, you're on your way? There. Talking to <laughs> My wife says hi, Air. What are you doing? I'm recording. Well, that, now you're going to have to start over. No, I'm not. They like you. Hi. <laughs> She's making sounds, trying to mess up the recording. Have a good hi. walk. That second bean burrito. <laughs> She's trying to make farting noises, trying to get you to think I'm farting. Uh, she used to. I'd be in the middle of a lecture. She'd come in. Do they know you're naked? <laughs> now this, you can see me, but in the old days, they didn't have that. Okay. So uh, first move is biggest, second, third, on like that. So my response is the third move in the corner, which of course is playable. But being the second move in the corner is bigger theoretically, and preferred by AI. Okay, onward. Uh, as I'm playing this out in front of the nine done, I'm telling him my thinking, uh, just to make sure I'm, you know, thinking right thoughts. <clears throat> so, one thing I want out of this situation is the ability to play here. And we can see that Black's developing kind of a low, flat, uninteresting area. Okay. My concern was if I play contact on this side, for instance, Let's just put it here. That, oh, sorry. Let's just put this, I just want to get to the bottom. Black might be able to find a Giuseppe on the bottom to make this move not work out. Because there's lots of variations here. Many Giuseppe choices, you know, maybe he'll find Sente. Maybe who knows what will happen. So I decided to go this way and not encourage him to change the status of the bottom. Well, he didn't think that was too interesting an idea, but it's like, yeah, yeah, sure, makes sense. They're both fine, of course. He says, and if you want, just play it. And I'm like, well, that's above my pay grade. I'm not going to let Black have that. Yes, theoretically, I know it's fine, but no, thank you. So I get out. Now, it's regular. Just some thoughts pushed in there. Black pushes. 
So I go the easy route, which I believe is better for me. He agreed on both accounts. Not only is it easier, but better. Why is it better? Well, I'm getting very much life and cash. He's getting a situation that's, we could say thick, but for instance, what do you do? Ah, sorry. Oh, come on. Not save. Pass. Uh, if black plays this way, you see white's developing a center situation. If black this way, then we've developed our own side situation. So there's Aji here, right? Uh, that being the case, black position isn't all it could be. While white's position looks wonderful. We don't clean it up right away because there's just a whole lot of various Aji here. So may as well make it clean and strong in all directions. Okay, so we're up to here. He liked all my moves and thoughts so far. Black jumps out. So I tell him, <clears throat> I don't like this because my corn is really getting small. Uh, yeah, I'm going to live, but I don't want a tiny little corner that's barely alive. Besides, what if he plays even trickier? You know? What if he plays this kind of tricky, right? There's just stuff here that I don't like. So we want to disconnect him. This is the strong way, zero cuts, but it does give black a pleasant uh, end game. Then there's this one, which leaves cuts but it's much more forward much more associated with points so as long as the my weaknesses aren't bad i prefer this so a quick little readout it's like you know that's easy whites that's pretty darn easy you know what about this one yeah everything's easy right Therefore, I would play her. He says, yeah, same as me. Okay. Now, these might be not interesting details to you. Uh, but to me, it's like, am I thinking correctly? Do I see the board the way I should be seeing it? To me, these are very important questions. And it makes me feel really good when, when I am. Now, I've lost great confidence in my game. Uh, back when I was strong uh, six on medium to strong six on, I felt great, complete actually confidence in what I knew. Um, and the the thing that made me confident, which to me is a story that has particular meaning, um, I uh, got six on, stopped playing, and just taught for ten years didn't play one serious competitive game i finally said okay let's go back and and look we'll spin uh, we'll go look at the strong players so jujo's annual tournament i go there i'm watching the uh seven dons six and seven dons play my conclusion is i know nothing because their moves all looked terrible to me uh, back then, when I could had a reasonable mind, I you know so you just look at a game. Now you know the game. It's like you don't have to write it down; it's just all memorized. So I took the games to Jujo, professional nine don. I said, Jujo, I clearly know nothing. Here are their moves. Here's my moves. My moves seem the most obvious thing in the world to me. He says they are. Their moves are the, are the bad ones. Their moves are all correct. Really. How how then are they seven dons? Oh, they just know how to fight well. But yours are better because you've had lessons. You know what you're doing. They've never had a lesson. They don't know. So that encounter gave me great confidence so that in other fields, 
when I feel confident about my fundamental understanding, I call it my jujo. I said, my jujo is strong here. It's, it's my way of telling myself, trust yourself, you know this. And that's been really meaningful to me in so many areas. Okay, I play here. Black comes down. Right away, that's a mistake. Uh, if we look at the bottom area of blacks, it's nothing. I mean, just look how incredibly flat it is. Oh, my God. That's a disgusting black area. Nobody wants that. Um, it's This is not a good stone. Ah, but it's Sente. He might capture my H2. I don't care about H2. That's a few points. Let's look at that. Atari, double Atari. I'm perfectly fine. That's small in-game points. So it's not even Sente. Nine Dawn agrees. We'll go about our business. I get my move in. <clears throat> Here is a point of interest. If his original move, J2, was not there, I would go about my business doing whatever I wanted to do. I would not press here, which is Sente. Why wouldn't I? Because I have every intention later. Oh, this could be a wonderful move, right? If black doesn't uh, stop me, that means this stone's alive. It's a very powerful move. Why would I take that option away? So later on, I might want A, I might want B. I don't know. So I'm not going to press. Once this is down, I will never want to come in at A. He's thick right there. Therefore, I press. And the nine down says, yeah. Okay. So where to? Two options. Stop black from playing A, because that, that's the big de black developing area. Or I do play B, the big developing area for white. My tendency is to play A because D is looking thick. While D has a cut, it doesn't have a base, not, doesn't seem as strong. Uh, he says, yeah, they're both fine. He says, um, but I had a misunderstanding about C. Let's look at what that means. <clears throat> so we're looking at the A group. And I'm like, nice, thick, strong group. He says, well, not necessarily, as you and I, you talking to you now. And I talked about this Delagi here. So the two white stones there, We'll call them the two A stones, the white stones. Yeah, they're just, they're not cutting stones. They don't have, they're nothing. We're going to do just nothing. Except they're Aji. They can be used in some way. Therefore, A isn't all it's cracked up to be. Well, I knew that, but I didn't give that enough credence. Like, no, it actually, there actually is Aji there. Oh then that means we're less concerned about black B because there's Aji on the left. Makes perfect sense. So I think in the real game I would have played, if I was playing my own moves, I would play A. And he says, of course, A is fine. There's no problem with A. It's just this other one looks a little more beneficial. Okay. Black pinches. A uh, few ideas here. Um, let's check out this move as a means of showing what's going on. And now black can do whatever black wants on the right, on the anywhere he wants to go. Black has sente. Equitable. White got the corner, black got the right. Equal. Equal. 
So my conclusion was, we of course want to split and attack. It's like, well, these moves are fine, but there is another way. If you're interested in the 3-3, three, three, then pinch. He goes to kill you, and then you take the 3-3. Three, three. So now you've got the side and the corner. Then you have a pro uh, an advantage in these uh, profit more than blacks. And that's not something I would consider, and I like this. I like having an extension because when black gets the extension, I start being concerned about my wall. So I like this idea. But the normal idea is so normal. I thought, well, of course I'm going to play this one. We all know the Giuseppe. Here. Uh, these are the next normal moves. If we're in a position where, you know, we need to, we're concerned about our group, we need some ice space, then start taking ice space. Uh, instead, we want, you know, in this position, we want some center thickness. Well, then let's play a B. Center, that's thick. Um, we want to kind of combine safety and center. Okay. I just want to make sure I get Sente here. That's D. And then we can walk away. That's the meaning behind the moves. Which one applies here? D. He says, yeah. But we do know that D leaves some weaknesses behind. And if we look... Say okay, white has white got sente. Now white can you know. White would rather not spend a whole move fixing. The point we're getting to is it says what about just pushing? Black's going to play the exact same move, but now you have more liberties. You're thicker to the outside. All right, it's like well that makes sense. On top of which you don't need to finish if you don't want to because Black's group isn't quite up to snuff, and cutting is really kind of out of the question. So that's not my style. I don't like allowing Black to mess with me however he wants, even though I, it's not going to come up too much. Just not my style. Uh, so I asked him, is this at least to 80 percent move he's yeah, 85 or more for sure it's i mean it's an okay move you're now thick to the outside everything's wonderful just perhaps if you getting sente to play away could easily be bigger so okay granted but i would play this way even if i knew all that it's just my style to play a little stronger okay continuing obvious uh we're doing the outside here and fix. Not the other fix. Don't leave that stuff behind. You just ever, ugh. Yeah, make sure you play on the right side. He cuts. Uh, and now we came across stuff that was uh, particularly helpful to me. Okay. Why can live with A? We want black to take the corner at A. Talk about a slow move. If black takes the corner, anything around A, right? Let's just put it, uh, make it here. Zero defense, zero attack. Totally one purpose move in Gote. That's small. If white lives, one purpose move in very likely Gote. So the corner is the last place we want to go. Okay, he totally agreed. But I said, now I'm concerned. This is where against the six dawn, I would go wrong. Everything here is basically my moves or one of the variations of my moves. No, they're all my moves. It's like here, I'm lost. 
because I don't see, for instance, ooh, I'm going to build a center. Really? This is extremely wide wall, right? There's no way we can surround that. Center's too difficult to take. So that's not going to work. Well, let's do it on a big scale. Really? Same thing. It's just anything. There's just no way for white to take that. Okay, I'll use my thickness to attack with. There's nothing to attack. Uh, and that's where I'm like, my mouth's open. Oh, uh, and what? I, I wouldn't know what to do. And then he named the principle, which I know by heart is the easiest principle in the world. Everyone knows the principle. But it was stuck in my head to, to somehow use this wall. The principle is you have a thick wall. It is already used. We all know the proverb, don't play near thickness. Anything why plays, that's too close to thickness. Oh, I'll come out here too close to thickness. Just walk away. Okay, so let's look at walking away. And Black says, aha, I'm negating your thickness. And you go, yeah, go ahead. Aha, I'm negating your thickness. Yeah, go right ahead. What are you going to do next? I'm really negating it. Black got zero, plus zero, plus zero. White got points, plus points, plus points. White's not weak. White's not in trouble. How come? White's really, really thick. That's how to use thickness, which is different from a wall. That's different from influence. Thickness is its own reward. Ooh, I just made that up. I'm going to say it again. Thickness is its own reward. Ooh, I like, I'm going to write that one down. Okay. <laughs> That's, that was really funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, so White's going to play away. And we discussed A versus B. Um, and uh, he said, yeah, they're both fine, of course. Um, the basic picture to look at is if he comes in, how's the attack? Great. No problems. Okay, let's look at the other one. Not the black would play this way, but it shows the basic picture. How's the attack? Great. Really looking forward by next move. So they both, everything's fine. Anything black does, we're going to use our thickness to attack with. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I would play A because I just like this approach so much. What's that got to do with A? I don't know. So I'm not sure what I would do. But he and I talked about it and everything's fine. But I definitely got caught on the center thickness. Like, I have to do something with it. And my, I was just locked into this. I, this is where I'd go wrong. If I'm playing six on, this is where I'd start to lose the game. Unless I thought, wait a minute, what was I thinking? You're supposed to stay away from thickness. Oh. Well, then let me imagine a stone here and let's count. Because if I don't have to, if that's its own reward... I should be fine. You count up, White's at least five points ahead. Probably closer to 10 when you look at this amazing thickness. Which he agreed with all that. So, very helpful to me. I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you all later. Bye.